Hey guys, welcome to my coding course using the C programming language. In this video, we want to learn the loops using in C language. So subscribe to my channel, and start our video. Conditions and if statements. You have already learned that C supports the usual logical conditions from mathematics. Less than. Less than or equal to. Greater than. Greater than or equal to. Equal to. Not equal to. You can use these conditions to perform different actions for different decisions. C has the following conditional statements. Use if to specify a block of code to be executed, if a specified condition is true. Use else to specify a block of code to be executed, if the same condition is false. Use else if to specify a new condition to test, if the first condition is false. Use switch to specify many alternative blocks of code to be executed. The if statement. Use the if statement to specify a block of code to be executed if a condition is true. This is the syntax of if statement. We write if with a condition, and we write the block of code in the braces. Note that if is in lowercase letters. Uppercase letters will generate an error. In the example below, we test two values to find out if 20 is greater than 18. If the condition is true, print some text. In this example, we use two variables, x and y, to test whether x is greater than y, using the greater than operator. As x is 20, and y is 18, and we know that 20 is greater than 18, we print to the screen that x is greater than y. The else statement. Use the else statement to specify a block of code to be executed if the condition is false. Here we open two braces one for the else statement and other for the else statement. In this example, time, 20, is greater than 18, so the condition is false. Because of this, we move on to the else condition and print to the screen good evening. If the time was less than 18, the program would print good day. The else if statement. Use the else if statement to specify a new condition if the first condition is false. And this is the else if syntax. In this example, time, 22, is greater than 10, so the first condition is false. The next condition, in the else if statement, is also false, so we move on to the else condition since condition 1 and condition 2 is both false, and print to the screen good evening. However, if the time was 14, our program would print good day. Now, the switch statement. Instead of writing many if, else statements, you can use the switch statement. The switch statement selects one of many code blocks to be executed, like this syntax. This is how it works. The switch expression is evaluated once. The value of the expression is compared with the values of each case. If there is a match, the associated block of code is executed. The break statement breaks out of the switch block and stops the execution. The default statement is optional, and specifies some code to run if there is no case match. The example below uses the weekday number to calculate the weekday name. The output here is Thursday or day 4. The break keyword. When C reaches a break keyword, it breaks out of the switch block. This will stop the execution of more code and case testing inside the block. When a match is found, and the job is done, it's time for a break. There is no need for more testing. A break can save a lot of execution time because it ignores the execution of all the rest of the code in the switch block. The default keyword specifies some code to run if there is no case match. Note that the default keyword must be used as the last statement in the switch and it does not need a break. Now, let's talk about the loops. Loops can execute a block of code as long as a specified condition is reached. Loops are handy because they save time, reduce errors, and they make code more readable. While loop. The while loop loops through a block of code as long as a specified condition is true. In the example below, the code in the loop will run over and over again, as long as a variable i is less than 5. 
do not forget to increase the variable used in the condition I++, otherwise the loop will never end. The do slash while loop. The do slash while loop is a variant of the while loop. This loop will execute the code block once, before checking if the condition is true, then it will repeat the loop as long as the condition is true. The example below uses a do while loop. The loop will always be executed at least once, even if the condition is false, because the code block is executed before the condition is tested. Do not forget to increase the variable used in the condition, otherwise the loop will never end. For a loop. When you know exactly how many times you want to loop through a block of code, use the for a loop instead of a while loop. In the syntax, statement 1 is executed one time before the execution of the code block. Statement 2 defines the condition for executing the code block. Statement 3 is executed every time after the code block has been executed. The example below will print the number 0 to 4. Statement 1 sets a variable before the loop starts, int i equals 0. Statement 2 defines the condition for the loop to run, i must be less than 5. If the condition is true, the loop will start over again. If it is false, the loop will end. Statement 3 increases a value, i++, each time the code block and the loop has been executed. Nested loops. It is also possible to place a loop inside another loop. This is called a nested loop. The inner loop will be executed one time for each iteration of the outer loop. Break. You have already seen the break statement used in an earlier chapter of this tutorial. It was used to jump out of a switch statement. The break statement can also be used to jump out of a loop. This example jumps out of the for loop when i is equal to 4. Continue. The continue statement breaks one iteration in the loop if a specified condition occurs and continues with the next iteration in the loop. This example skips the value of 4. You can also use break and continue in while loops. This is all for the loops and C programming language. If you are interested in coding subscribe to my channel and support me for more videos. Thank you for watching.